โอ้หอมฮัลโหลและวันนี้ที่ทุกสปายส์และแพนส์วันนี้เราจะทำพรอนโรสหรือเฮซูล์สุดเลยสตาร์ททุกข์กิ้งเอาน้าสตาร์ทที่จะทำพรอนส์ฉันมีอยู่กับผมกี่กิโลกรัมของพรอนส์ซีพรอนส์ดีมากคุณสามารถซื้อขนาดเล็กๆได้ก็โอเคฉันจะทำพวกนี้ออกจากเล็กๆไปเป็นขนาดใหญ่ที่สุดเพราะเวลาฉันเอาของเฮซูล์หรือของพรอนส์ดีฉันชอบการทำความครุ่นฉันจะทำพวกนี้ออกจากเล็กๆไปเป็นขนาดใหญ่ที่สุดเพราะเวลาฉันเอาของเฮซูล์หรือของพรอนส์ So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slice them in half like this. Of course, the shrimp I've already deveined them and taken out the shell, so I'm just going to coarsely cut them up like this. Just cut them into bigger pieces like this. We we'll just finish this up before I show you the next step. Now I'll start to chop up the smaller prawns. Very easy. Just mash it up like this, push it aside, and later we'll just push them all together and. Start to chop them up. Now we just need to chop this up. So just uh, chop it up finely into a sort of like a paste like, and I'll show you how it looks like later. Right, they are pasty now. This is what we want it to be. Now let's put this aside and then we'll mix this with our pork. Now we need to season all these ingredients. This is the prawns that we smashed just now, those that we cut up, and this is 600 grams of minced pork. I'm using u hua rou, or rather known as tricky pork, because you need some fats inside here, otherwise it will not be juicy. We will add in three whole eggs, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, two tablespoons of oyster sauce. One teaspoon of five spice powder, one tablespoon of so fish powder, or you can use found up fish powder. I'm using the ready-made one. You can get this from Sing Seong. Or if you want to make your own, you can just buy so fish, deep fry them, and then turn them into a powder form like this. I'll also be adding in one tablespoon of corn flour. Now later, when I mix all this up, if the mixture is a little bit too wet, I'll add in more corn flour. One teaspoon of sugar. A small bunch of Chinese coriander, or you can use parsley. Finally, mince up like this. Put it in. We'll be also adding in this water chestnut, but I'm not going to mix them in right now because they will create a lot of water or juices inside there. So I'm just going to mix this first. Okay, we need to mix this up really, really well. I'll be using my hand. Make sure you wash your hand first. So we just mix everything up well. The amount of corn flour we use will vary accordingly to how wet this mixture is. Now I'll be adding in more corn flour because this is a little bit wet. Three tablespoon more. This dish is actually a Teochew dish. Teochew is actually a Chinese dialect group. I reckon that we need some more corn flour. Now important thing is do not add too much corn flour at one go. Slowly add them in. So I'm adding in another three more tablespoon of corn flour. Now some of you might ask, what if I add in too much corn flour? No problem, just add in another egg. Always stir in one direction. We want it to be glue-like, like this, right? This is what we want. So later your hei zhu, after steaming and frying, it will be a little bit chewy, or we call it tan ya. Okay, now we will add in our water chestnut. I'm using eight pieces of water chestnut, kind of small cubes like this. So I'll just add them in. This will add crunch and sweetness to your hezo or prawn rolls. So now we just do a light mix. In order to know whether your paste is too dry or too wet, pretty simple. When you take out a lump like this, right, it won't it won't flatten immediately. That means it's good enough. Okay, so this is what I want. So now that this is mixed up already, we will start to roll this. We will prepare our wu xiang pi. Now I'm going to show you how to prepare the pinker skin before we start wrapping the prawn rolls. Normally, when you buy the pinker skin, you will come in one big piece like this. If you're lucky, you will not find any holes inside there. So let's have a look. Oops, this piece is torn over here. So it's always advisable to buy extra pieces 
just in case something like this happened. So now we just cut this into half first. It's already folded into half, so all you got to do is just take a knife and just slice it through in one motion. Be careful not to break it even further. So just slowly open it up. It might be folded on the ends like this. So just be very careful when you open it up. We'll try to keep this as intact as possible. Now we have four half again and we have cut it again. Now it's not really half as you can see, there's edges over here, but we want it to be half, so we just fold it slightly edge to edge. The reason why I'm doing this is because if you're not doing this, then you have big and small rows. We want it to be equal sized. So same thing. Have a look where the center. Just run your knife through. Okay. After this is done, we need to wipe this because when they make the binker skin, they actually add a, in a lot of salt. So it's pretty salty. And we need to clean this up also. Using a piece of clean cloth that's slightly wet, just gently wipe it up. The salt. You need to wipe both sides. I purchased two pieces of this binker skin, so that should be enough for us to make the rolls. I've chosen the two best pieces over here that I'll be using. The rest I've just put aside just in case I need them. So I'm just going to divide them into three parts. One, two, and three. Okay, should be equal size. And we will cut them up. After this, I'm going to show you how I wrap the prawn rolls. Now I'm going to show you how to wrap the prawn rolls but before we proceed, let me tell you what are the items that I have over here. On this tray, I've already wrapped up some of these prawn rolls but before I put them on the tray, I've actually brushed a layer of oil on the tray and of course, you need to brush some oil on this prawn roll too so that later when you steam them, they will not stick together. Also, prepare a little bit of water because we need to dab the sides of the pinker skin so that they can stick together easily. So let me show you how to do this. Take a piece of the binker skin. It's about three tablespoons of the fillings. Put them in a somewhere near the middle or center of the skin. Right, leave some gap about two fingers gap towards the sides of the skin. Now on the outer part here, put some water or dab some water onto it so that it will be softer and easier to manage and they will stick together. A little bit of water over here by the sides too. Fold one side up like this. The other side also. Do the same. Now, using your index finger, push over here and your fourth finger over here. What you got to do is, you just need to fold this up like this. And we just roll this in. Very simple. And there you have it, your prone roll. So now, I'll just put this on the tray and I will put a little bit of oil, brush a little bit of oil onto the skin so that later when I steam them, they will not break that easily and it will not stick to the other pieces. So continue to do the rest and I'll show you later when I steam them. We are going to steam our prone rolls now. You can use a steel plate or a porcelain plate, it's really up to you. But make sure you brush some oil on the plate so that the prone rolls will not stick. We will steam this for 15 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. This is done already. I'll remove them from heat. Let them cool down before I do the next step. I'll see you back in a while. Now I'm going to cut up the prawn rolls before I deep fry them. Prepare some corn flour because I'm going to coat them with corn flour so that they will be crunchier. Make sure that your prawn rolls have actually cooled down. You can cut it in three or four pieces depending on your personal preference. So I like this kind of thickness, so I'm just going to Cut this down like this. I'm just going to show you how I dip this in corn flour. Very simple. Just put it inside the corn flour, roll it around. And after that, just put them on an up plate, let them rest for a minute or so, so that the flour won't drop off. Okay, we'll continue to do the rest and I'll show you when I fry them. Now we will fry the 
front rows make sure that your oil is hot let's give it a check as you can see bubbles are rising up rapidly that means the oil is hot enough i'm using medium heat over here okay so now we will put our prawn rolls in these are cooked already so basically it's okay if you put a little bit more but just make sure that they are immersed in the oil because we want to make them really really crispy now you see a little bit of bubbles rising up is okay don't worry because there's egg inside there there's prawns inside there that's why all these bubbles are rising up and just take them out once in a while just to check that the color is just what you wanted it to be but you want a light golden brown color so we just need to fry this for a little bit more i can feel the crispiness already by the side you can use a sweet sauce as a dipping sauce for this or if you want blanchin chili will be what i really like to go along with this beautiful corn rolls in total we have made 13 rolls from the ingredients used so this is good enough for us you can see that it's crispy already we'll just take out and remove them from the oil and we'll continue frying the second batch if you can't finish all these 13 rolls at one go no worries you can always deep fry all of them put them in the freezer and whenever you want to eat just take the portion that you want you can air fry them or put them in your oven now let's try this now and now the dish is done let's have a taste do not envy me oh hot mm. Let me describe the taste to you. You have the sweetness of the prawns, the juiciness of the pork, and the Chinese coriander inside here. Very, very nice. This is extremely good. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.